It was cucumber the first. Summer was over. I had just finished a long day and I was bushled. I'm the kind of guy that works hard for his salary, and I don't mind telling you I was feeling a bit wilted. But I didn't care at all, because otherwise things were fine. I try never to disparagus, and I don't sweat the truffles. I'm outstanding in my field, and I know that something good will turn up eventually. A bunch of things were going great, and soon I'd be top banana. At least that's my appealing. But that's enough corn. Lend me your ear, and let us continue. After dressing, I stalked over the grain station. I got there just in time to catch the 9-11 as it plowed towards the core of Appleton, a lentil more than a melon and a half east of Cloveland. No one got off at Zucchini, so we continued on our route to Bega. Passing my usual stop, I got off Ecado. I hailed a passing yellow cabbage and told the driver to cart me off to Brooklyn. I was going to meet my brother across from the eggplant, where he had a job at the Saffron Station Pumpkin Gas. Well, as soon as I saw his face, I knew he was an EM. He told me his wife had been raising cane. Her name was Peaches, a soiled but radishing beauty with huge gourds. My brother had always been a chestnut, but I could never figure out why she picked him. He was a skinny little string bean who'd always suffered from cerebral parsley. It was in our roots. Sure, we tried to weed it out, but the problem still remained. He was used to having a tough row to hoe, but it irrigated me to see Artie choke, and it bothered my brother to see his marriage go to seed. Like most mapled couples, they had a lot of growing to do. Sure, they'd sown their wild oats, but just barley, if you please. Finally, Peaches had given him an ultimato. She said, I'm hip to your chive, and if you don't stop smoking that herb, I'm gonna leave you for basil, you fruit. He said he didn't realize it had come quite so far. On the other hand, even though Peaches could be the pits, I knew she'd never call the fuzz. My little story is okra now. Maybe it's small potatoes, me, Idaho. My name, Wheat. My friends call me Colonel, and that's life in the slaw lane. Thank you so much. It's a garden out there. That was Kip Adata with life in the slaw lane.